guys and welcome back today for another video you know I'm getting really tired of these unplanned videos this is another unplanned video so I was driving yesterday and a rock came up hit my windshield on the Subaru um, this is actually a heated windshield in this car so it's very very expensive it's like almost a $700 windshield so I'm going to attempt to fix it myself um, never done this but I saw a couple videos it didn't look that hard to do so I mean what's the worst that happens I make it worse I mean it's it's gonna have to be changed anyways so you know what I mean if I could fix it that would be great as I was driving and all I heard was tick and I'm like oh no so I didn't look at first I was like please don't be cracked please don't be cracked and I don't know if you guys can see right there but that's a crack now I know what you guys are thinking that's really little I would just leave it well you can't just leave it because the weather changes and everything like hot in the car cold outside this will actually spider the whole entire windshield so in order to fill this you need to be able to feel the crack which you can on this and it did not go all the way through it's just the outside layer of glass if you guys don't know what a what a i believe it's a laminated windshield is it has a layer here a piece of plastic in the middle and then a layer in the back so that's actually to make this so it doesn't shatter all over you if you get into an accident um, I really want to try to save this windshield, guys. So just keep in mind, that's what we have right there. And I'll show you guys, you know, how to do this with this Permatex kit, which is the one that I saw videos on. So apparently this works really, really well. And this will pretty much be like it never happened by the time I'm done. So we'll see what happens. Um, I was going to have a professional do it, but I figured, you know what? I'll make a video for you guys on this because... This is something that could happen to anybody, you know? This is something that can happen in everyday life, like it is what it is, but yeah. So let's see what the instructions say, and we'll get to uh, hopefully fixing this. So it's good to note that you're not gonna be able to do anything bigger than one and a quarter inch diameter bull bullseye on the windshield. So a bullseye is actually that circle speck right there. So you're not gonna be able to do anything bigger than one and a quarter inch. One and a quarter inch is pretty big, guys. That's probably about like that big. So clearly we're nowhere near that. So yeah. So the first step on the instructions here is it wants me to use the push pin that comes in the kit. Everything comes in the kit. They give you a razor blade, the resin, the squeegee sucker thingy mabobber, and the, uh, the pedestal and everything. Everything is in this kit. Like you don't need any tools to do this, guys. Uh, the only thing that you might wanna get is just a, a paper towel because this will drip down and i really don't want this getting on the paint or anything like that so i have a paper towel they obviously don't give you that but we're gonna get the push pin out of here and pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the push pin and don't go crazy guys don't make this worse than what it is just use common sense take the push pin and scrape out any remaining glass just like loose shards you don't want loose shards in there because the adhesive's not going to adhere to the windshield properly so i'm going to clean that out really quick and then i'll pick you guys right back up and we'll move to the next step what you want us to do now is to take the alcohol prep pad and we're just going to clean around where the crack is just to get it nice and clean um i already did the push pin they literally give you like a thumbtack and i cleaned the hole out the bullseye i cleaned that out already so i'm going to go over with the alcohol prep pad and then I believe what we have to do after that is put our mount down with our pedestal that we fill with resin. So let me get this cleaned up and I'll show you guys what the pedestal is going to look like on there and everything, just so you guys know. And we'll get to fill in this crack. Hopefully, it's like it never happened. Hopefully. So I just cleaned the crack. You're going to place this adhesive disc. It doesn't matter which side you do first. Both are the same thing. But you're going to want this tab facing upward and you want your crack centered in the um, the hole in the middle. So right about there looks about right. So this is what you're gonna want right here. I'm gonna stick this thing on and you're gonna wanna also look from the inside of the car and make sure there's no air bubbles in the adhesive because you want an airtight seal because you're gonna be filling this with the resin. So I'm gonna get this stuck on there, make sure there's no air bubbles and then we'll move to the next step. So this is what they're calling the pedestal. So more or less what you want once you get your crack centered and everything this is all stuck down with no air bubbles you're going to peel the other side of the backing right here and you're going to match the tab pointing upward on the adhesive just like this you're going to want to match it perfectly around the circle and pointing upward you want to stick this on and then we're almost ready to fill this this crack up so this is what you're after uh you're probably oh no you can so you see the crack down there through the hole 
This is actually what you're going to fill with the resin. So you, again, you wanna press firmly on this. Don't go too crazy. You don't wanna crack your windshield worse, but you wanna get all the air bubbles out of this. I already checked, made sure there's no air bubbles. So now we're gonna take our resin tube right here. This is the resin. We're going to twist this off, do this away from your car's paint because you don't wanna drip this on your car's paint. It will not come off probably. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna fill this whole entire thing up with resin to about like right here, like that line right there. And then um, we're gonna move to what it says to do next, which I'm pretty sure is to use the suction on it and get all the air bubbles out, but we'll see once I get it filled up. Okay, so I just filled it with the resin. You can actually see the resin right there. So our next thing that we need to do now is to lock in this plunger right here. This is going to create a suction. So what the suction is actually going to do is get all the air bubbles out so you don't have a really badly looking fix. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in there, firmly put this in there. It's gonna make an airtight seal, which is what the double side tape is for. And we're gonna pull this up and there's actually a notch right here on top, or actually it's gonna be the bottom one. So there's a notch right there. You're gonna pull that up and lock it into the clip on top. So this is what you're after. Uh, you wanna hold this when you pull up. You can actually see the air bubbles coming up right now. Um, you wanna hold this when you pull this plunger up and you wanna lock it into the bottom most hole. So the one lowest to the car. And if we go inside, you guys will actually see that there's air bubbles coming out and we're filling the crack up i know it's a little hard to tell but the crack already pretty much looks like it's gone my crack really wasn't that bad but like i said guys i don't want it to spread and then i have no choice but to replace the windshield I'm trying to catch it before i have to do that so i believe we are going to let this sit for about um doo -doo 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 -doo. so we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes so i'll pick you guys back up in 10 minutes when this sits and all the air is out another thing that might help you guys too to get the air out is to lightly knock around the windshield that will actually help air bubbles escape but i'm gonna actually do that more when the time comes after 10 minutes just to make sure all the air is out so yeah As you guys could see all of the air bubbles in there they're actually going up so pretty much what we're doing right now guys is we have this under a vacuum so when it sits it's going to pull all the air bubbles out because the last thing you want is air bubbles in your windshield because you're going to see those so it's going to pull a vacuum on it and get all the bubbles out and that's why i told you guys you guys can knock along the windshield and everything um just to help the air escape you definitely don't want no air in this so yeah so far it's been about two minutes the crack is I mean, the, the circle part of the crack is starting to look almost gone. Um, I'm really hoping it fills in that line too, but we'll see as it sits. So it's been 10 minutes, guys. Um, the inside looks pretty well. I don't see any more air bubbles coming out. So what you want to do now is, just, first of all, get your rag ready because as you can see, there's resin actually in the syringe. So what you want to do now is pop this out. Don't move the plunger. Just pop this out. You're allowing air to get in this tube for the next step. The next step, we're going to pop this out. We're going to put it back in, and then we're going to actually go down to that line right there, which is the topmost line. And what that's going to do is it's going to force air into the hole and push the resin into the crack. And you are going to want that to sit with the air pushing down for 20 minutes. You can go a little bit more. You can go a little bit less. I'm just listening to what the instructions say to do. So, yeah. All right guys, so I have pressure going down now. I'm gonna let this sit for 20 minutes. You can go a little bit past this marking if you really want to. Just don't go all the way down. You don't wanna force in too much and crack your windshield even more. So I'm gonna let this sit for 20 minutes and I'll pick you guys back up. Um, and the next step, we're going to be removing the adhesive pad and everything. And then we will uh, go to a final cure. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed guys, hopefully this is fixed. As I could tell you already, we are going to have a nice, nice outlook here. Look at how much that crack is already filled up. And we've only been sitting for about two minutes. So yeah, this should come out really nice, guys. Here's the 10 minute update. We uh, almost have no crack. I know you guys could see a line there, but in person, it's really hard to tell. Like really hard. Like that's looking straight at it. 
Of course, when you're on an angle, you're probably gonna notice it a little bit, but you could barely tell it's there right there. And we're only 10 minutes in, so we still have 10 minutes to go. It's obviously gonna fill the hole more in the remaining 10 minutes, but I'm very excited to see how this comes out. So I'm coming up just on 10 minutes, or 20 minutes, sorry. I am going to remove the syringe. You're gonna carefully twist outward and pull up. And then I'm going to take the safety razor blade that they give you, razor blade or whatever you guys wanna call it. And I'm going to scrape that tab up top and a little bit into the circle, but you don't wanna go all the way through because you don't wanna chip your resin up because we're not done with resin yet. So I'm going to just get it started and I'm gonna pull it off. And then um, what it wants us to do next is it wants us to wipe any remaining resin from around the area. Don't go over top of the actual crack guys with the cloth. You don't want to do that. Just wipe around it. Get it nice and neat. Make sure it doesn't come dri dripping down over here. So once you get that wiped up, then you are going to take the remaining resin because you did not use it all to fill that syringe. So you're going to take a little bit more of the resin you're going to go over top of the crack and then you're going to place that safety pad over top now guys uh, on a sunny day it says if you're in direct sunlight you can let it sit for 15 minutes and you'll be good to go obviously mother nature is not cooperating with me today and it's actually raining so i'm going to be very careful i don't get water on anything and um we're going to let it sit for one hour I'm probably going to let it sit for about an hour and a half just to make sure it's fully cured. And then I'll show you guys in an hour what I'm going to do after that. So I pulled the syringe off and everything. As you can see, guys, look at that. Look at that barely line there. Like the bullseye is completely filled in. If you come back to here, can't even tell. So it's filled. It is filled. So now we're going to let this sit for an hour like this, probably an hour and a half. Um... I'm not worried about the rain because it is covered now and it is airtight. You mainly just want to take your razor blade and get any of the air around the crack out. I'm not worried about the edges here. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. But right where that crack was, I should say, is where we want to get all the air out because we don't want anything, you know, happening to it or anything like that. So what I did was I pulled that off and then I took the resin. I dripped it onto the remaining bit of the crack and then I put the safety uh, cover thing, whatever you want to call this thing, on top of it. So I'm going to let that sit an hour and a half and I'll pick you guys back up and uh, hopefully we have a good finished product. I hope so. Guys, so it has been just shy of two hours and um, I didn't take the thing off yet, but... Can you guys even see where the scratch was? That's what I thought. So we definitely succeeded here. So I'm gonna take the razor blade they give you. I'm gonna peel this up a little bit. We're gonna take this off and then we're gonna take the razor blade and we're gonna scrape all of this resin off the window. It's kind of hard to tell, but you see that? That's all resin. So we're actually gonna scrape the whole thing right over the crack and everything. Pretty much what that's gonna do is it's gonna level it and then we're gonna wipe it down with an alcohol pad and I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like. Guys, so I just finished scraping off all the resin and everything like that. Um, <laughs> where is it? <laughs> it's honestly hard for me to even find it, but I did find it, which I'll show you guys in just one second. I must say, this came out awesome. So before I show you guys from the outside, I'm going to show you guys the inside. So you don't see anything. You don't see anything. You don't see anything. You still don't see anything. Uh, you guys honestly aren't even going to be able to see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand behind the windshield. And if we can focus right there, right here is where the crack was. It's so, 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 so minor. Um, and honestly, you'll never notice that. Like standing right here, I can't even see it. So pretty much it wasn't like cosmetically bothering me. It's the fact that it was gonna spread. So now this is a permanent fix. This is a permanent fix, guys. You will have no issues down the road. This will last indefinitely. Like it, it's not gonna crack anymore. The crack's filled, everything's good. It looks great. Um, just look, if, if I could do this, you guys could do this. I've never done this before, ever in my life. I bought the kit for $20.78 at AutoZone, which winded up being 78 cents because I had $20 reward through AutoZone. So I pretty much fixed my windshield for $0. So just keep that in mind, guys. Don't be afraid to put anything, anything you put your mind to, you can do. 
You know what I mean? Don't don't be afraid to try new things. Like I said, I never tried it before. I never tried welding before I did the front end of the Mustang and everything came out good. So if you guys just take your time, follow step by step, you know, get help through videos or whatever you need to do, you guys could definitely do this kind of stuff. I am extremely happy with the outcome of this. Um, I don't need to spend $700 on a, on a windshield now, which is awesome. I spent 78 cents rather than $700. I think you guys get the point. Um, I do have the whole exhaust for this car. I'm not doing a video on it because I did an exhaust video two weeks ago, I believe it was. So I'm not going to do a video on putting the new cat back on, but I am going to do a short for you guys of what the car is going to sound like with the new cat back versus the old cat back versus the original exhaust that was on the car. It's going to be a very, very drastic difference between all three of them. Uh, the one that's about to go on is going to sound absolutely awesome. So yeah, but I'm very happy with today's video, guys. Again, wasn't a planned video. I'm getting real tired of these planned, not unplanned videos, but it is what it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please try to fix stuff like this yourself. If you have any questions for me, drop them in the comments down below. Just drop a like up on this video. Subscribe to the channel. There's plenty more content to come. And I will catch you guys in next week's video. Peace out.